Next question, welcome to Climate One. And we'll get, uh, we've got as many as we can, brief questions, thank you. Hi, my name is Patrick Roddy from StopSpreadingUs.com. Uh, I was reading chapter seven of your book on geoengineering, which is a very bad idea to, uh, to, to resolve the, um, the, the climate crisis. Um, have you looked at all into uh, the, the potential human health impacts? Because uh, since I, I understand it actually has been deployed since you know, the, the 80s, and since then, Alzheimer's has risen 135 fold. Um, so have you any, any, any views on whether it's been deployed and, and your views on the human health impacts? Michael Mann, do you explain what geoengineering is? Yeah, so geoengineering is the intentional manipulation of essentially the global environment. Um, and one might argue that climate change uh, is sort of the unintentional, uh, massive global scale manipulation of our environment. It's an accidental geoengineering. The title of, uh, of that chapter in our book, uh, by the way, is Geoengineering or what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> right. I think that perhaps betrays sort of my views in general about prospects for massive uh, technological interventions with a system we don't understand perfectly. Um, and there are a range of schemes that have been proposed uh, that uh, range from shooting particles into the stratosphere to block out some of the sunlight and, and, and try to cool the earth back down. Um, when you look at some of the potential side effects of that, the unintended consequences, it turns out that sort of scheme um, could actually end up leading to uh, a drying out of the continents. You could cause some areas to actually warm even faster because of changing atmospheric circulation patterns. You would probably worsen acid rain and ozone depletion. And as you go down the list, with most of these proposed interventions, um, you know, the principle of unintended consequences really reigns uh, supreme. And certainly health impacts uh, are among those potential consequences. For example, the idea that we could fertilize the oceans um, by uh, putting iron into the oceans, fertilizing algae that would then take more of the CO2 out of the atmosphere. Well, as those uh, schemes have been studied more closely, it turns out, first of all, it would probably just lead to faster cycling of carbon in the upper ocean. It wouldn't take sort of carbon out of the system. And it appears that that might actually favor the type of algae that give rise to red tide. Um, so, you know, there are potential health consequences. Again, it's the principle of unintended consequences um, interfering with a system that we don't understand perfectly. And there is only, there is no planet B. There's only one planet we know of in the universe right now that can support life. Sorry, uh, but also to add a quick common sense kind of thing, the warming we're seeing is mostly happening at night, often in the poles and in the kind of colder seasons, more or less. So, you know, if that's true, then blocking the sun to cool it off is not going to work. It's going <laughs> to cool off the daytime in the tropics and the summers. And it's like sticking your feet in liquid nitrogen because your hair is on fire. Right. <laughs> 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 on global average, maybe you cancel one of the yeah. it lives in a global average mm -hmm. place. So maybe our president should try that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just to clarify, in geoengineering, there's a, maybe a few tests. It's not happening now. No, there have been some uh, local uh, uh, tests, for example, al the algae uh, uh, iron fertilization, and uh, these are sort of um, uncontrolled, un uh, unauthorized experiments, and that's one of the dangers here, that we could see uh, these sort of rogue efforts to engage in geoengineering. And so, you know, there is, it is important to talk about it. Arguably, it is important to do the research if for no other reason, so we can understand what the, the consequences might actually be. Let's go to our next question for John <clears throat> Michael Mann and Climate One.